Ooh. Okay, that face, that, that face was very evil looking. I like it. What is good, y'all? It is I, Fro Wolf, not Reggie Wolf. The Fro is out, y'all. See it, bro. At least until I get it braided again. But today we are checking out a new video by TJ the Artist. And today we are checking out Gohan in his beastly form versus his daddy in Ultra Instinct. And look, I've checked out videos by TJ the Artist before. He had a different Gohan, you know, beast versus Ultra Instinct Goku before. But I think that this one's a little different. So we're going to be checking it out here today. Now, if y'all enjoy this, don't forget to hit them with the goodness, y'all. That is like the video, comment, subscribe, share, lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit them with it. And if y'all enjoy my reaction, please do not forget to hit your boy with it as well. With that being said, let's get to it. DJ, the artist. Remember the name. And they right into it. Okay, he got the purple key too. Is he gonna have the beastly like? Ooh! Okay, that face, that that face was very evil looking. I like it. Let the animal out. Got that boy big eyed and shook. Goku too. What is that? Yo, it's time to scrap. With the sharp teeth. He gonna rush you down. Ooh, trying to put the boot in his face. Ooh, okay, good little flip kick. See, a fight like this, you know, the Z fighters for a while were able to keep up with like Goku, anyone who was fighting. At this point, I think these two don't see anything, right? Everybody else is catch is catching it pretty much. But like if Krillin was here, he not seeing up the TN, not seeing nothing. Piccolo, he he should be fine. But anybody outside of Piccolo who's on Earth probably right now, they not seeing nothing. <clears throat> Vegeta got to be having pride in him like a son of his own. Let's keep this up. You destroy his planet, he pissed. What I say? Oh, okay, good block. Go on, try to knock his damn head off. As always, you change. Bro, I love how he's drawing him. 
like with the sharp tooth and everything. Like this is, you know, for the most part, the normal beast go on drawing. But for some reason, it looks so much more like aggressive, bro. I think it's the nose, the tooth, and the ear. Because the ear being pointed like that just make it a little more or a little less human looking, you know? You about to pull out the Sasano? <laughs> Don't forget the light. I can't see the... I guess more fan animations coming soon? Or more animations coming soon? All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, bro. See, I really mess with TJ because, for one, I don't know how long he's been animating, right? We don't, I, like, I'm still kind of fresh to his channel. I think I checked out this and maybe, maybe one other video. But to see, I like seeing all these animators coming up. And I feel like, I don't know how old he is. If he's relatively young doing this, like 20s, imagine how he will be or where he will be in 40s, right? But let's get back, let's get to the actual animation. So for one, I like that he I need that frame. I need that frame. I need that frame. There it is. This this is just a wicked shot, bro. This is just he got Gohan looking e like evil, beastly with it's a lot of things you could call this. This is low key creepy like this could be, if you put this Gohan in a Five Nights at Freddy's game, could be one of the scariest uh, jump scares, bro. But I like it because, I mean, Gohan is letting that inner rage out. It, he doesn't let it consume him, but he lets it out and harnesses it. So I I saw this frame is like, nah, he, he, he got crazy potential, crazy talent looking at this. And then he's getting impact frames like it's ooh, yo TJ, you you cooking my boy? I'm vibing with him. Then this every time, also every time you got a close up on Goku, you were really in your bag with that one too. Like Goku looked tough. This whole thing looks tough, but you really was like, yeah, I've been drawing Goku for years. I know how to do this with my eyes closed. And the whole thing is a vibe, bro. The whole fight is a vibe. I want to go back because I, I, in his real one, it was Goku and Gohan fighting and then Piccolo and Vegeta. But in the main story, everyone jumps in. It kind of turns into a battle royale, which I don't think they ever really had a full winner. But I would like to see Vegeta, Piccolo, Broly, which I saw Broly versus Vegeta. So I might have to check that one out, too. Beerus, I would like to see his interpretation of uh, other fighters fight. And honestly, with how your art style is, I TJ, I wouldn't be surprised if you ever had like the idea for some original characters. You feel me? Because I would love to see what you would draw with your own creativity. But hey, that's for whenever you ready. But just know I'm interested. That's what I will say. But look, I enjoyed this, bro. For one, I almost enjoy so much stuff Dragon Ball because the Dragon Ball community talent, bro. R.I.P. to Toriyama. But look, look, this is another product of Toriyama. And it's dope, bro. It's like this man inspired. I feel like he inspired the current and the next three generations of animators who are going to be going to be crazy good. Because they are starting early. They are starting bare bones. Like, understand, when someone starts bare bones and then they get some money to put behind their craft, get more practice in, this one day is going to... TJ going to look back on this with fond memories, but then, like, that was rough. But I, I'm so much better now. But look, I'm going to end it here. If y'all enjoyed this, go to TJ the Artist channel. The video will be linked in the description. Hit them with the goodness. That is like. Comment, subscribe, share, lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit them with it. And if y'all enjoyed my reaction, please do the same for your boy.
This has been your boy Reggie Wolf. I am signing out. Peace.